Now, over the winter, this pipe had broke off right here. And this, all of the water from the sump pump was just going all over the place right here. So needless to say, it killed out this area. But I also had my hose station here with the, the reel of um, the water hose. So we kind of killed that grass, which this might come back. But I'm thinking what I want to do instead is just create a, a little landscaping area. Maybe put some rock in here so I can have my hose station there. And uh, we'll have to worry about this. Now, as you guys can see, this sump pump is just wreaking havoc on this yard. And, I mean, it's causing all kinds of problems downstream, too. Look at all these weeds that's popped up because it's washed out areas and allows weeds to take hold. And it's pretty much, it's just all messed up all the way down. I don't know if this is, I mean, this is, cause here's my side. This seems like this is not even side. I don't even know what's going on. So what I want to do, I want to reroute this piping along this way. And obviously that's going to stop from having to have this pipe just way out here. So I'm going to bring this pipe this way over here. And then it's gonna go basement down there. So it's gonna go across here under this gutter and then up and to the top of this. And then I'm also gonna tap this rain spout. And take a look at this barrel. It's called, uh, it's from Rescue uh, Environmentally Friendly Responsible Products or whatever. As you can see, it's got a planter on top. That's kind of neat. And the back of it is flat. So it's still 50 gallons, even though, you know, the back is flat like this, which I really kind of question that. It don't seem like it would be 50 gallons because I work at an industrial place where we have 55 gallon drums everywhere. And this does not look five gallons short of that, but that's what it says, 50 gallons. guys we're all finished got the sump pump going down to this pipe as you can see I got a rubber coupler here and that's because uh, <clears throat> over the winter I'm obviously gonna have to come up with another solution so anyway pipe comes out here it goes along here across the basement window under here under that uh spout and then into the rain gutter i mean into the rain barrel so the one thing i'm worried about is once it start coming out is it going to want to blast out so there's a little bit of space here and i think that's going to be good to more or less vent it will also be able to vent through this pipe because this uh, is going to be empty so you could it's gonna vent out as water goes in so you got this planter up top and it has a little hole to drain water once it rains in there and uh that's pretty much it guys so i'm actually my sump pump has been collecting water or my sump has been collecting water while i worked on this and um it's ready to pump so I'm going to go plug it in, and hopefully we'll have some water in here once I get back upstairs. So as you can hear, no water inside. We're going to see if we can get some, some water pumped through here. All right, guys. Now, here's the sump pump. My light is out in this part of the basement. 
anyway, so you got the sump pump down here. And as you can see, you know, I'm not gonna take top off, but there's water down in there for sure. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm plug it, I'm gonna plug it in and it should turn itself on. So I don't actually know the maximum pressure for this for this pump. Oh, quit kicking that noise. Um, I don't know the maximum head pressure, but I think this is nine feet there. I think it's nine feet ceilings in here. Um, or maybe that's eight. I don't know, eight or nine feet. So it has to go up there. And you can see where it goes outside. And then it has to go across and then up some more to where the barrel's at outside. So hopefully this will work, no problem. And I don't see a, I thought we had a backflow preventer installed on this, but I don't see one, so I guess we do not. Here goes nothing. left this for sure um, not even sure if that's enough water to actually make it to the barrel or if that just filled up the pipe so let's go check oh you hear that so we do got water inside not enough to come out though I don't know just a little bit So this is water that came from the sump. Looks nice and clear. And now filling the rain barrel. So like I said, guys, ultimately I want to get maybe uh, one, if maybe not even two more rain barrels or possibly an underground, a buried tank. Maybe something that can hold hundreds of gallons of water and get a pump and actually use that to water the grass. That will be idea. Well, that's pretty much it for this project, guys.